Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope you're doing all right. I don't think anybody's awake this morning. There's only two of you here so far. Three of you. Welcome along. Hello. Quite a simple one today. I didn't want to stress you out. <laughs> well, you know. This would have been our last lesson. Well, it is our last lesson, but it would have been a quick lesson because we'd have ended up going to um, Christmas dinner. It was always the plan. But never mind. There's always another year. So I have a 0.4 and a 0.6 black liner pen that I will be using. I've got it drawn out. And I've done something a bit different as well um, that I'll show you later. Got some um, relaxing Christmas music on now, royalty free. So it will sound like you're stuck in an elevator at uh, Santa's workshop. Just me here at the moment, Jackie's not around yet. Yeah, it is. Happy virtual Christmas lesson, I know. Um, most of the other classes, um, we've got all of them this week. And then next week, it's just the Monday evening and the Wednesday afternoon classes. And then that's me done for this year. And then we start back the first week of January, I think. Let me double check. Because I can never remember. I do all these so far. 4th of January is the next Monday group. I think that's the first... That's the first class the 4th of Jan. But I'm still here. The shop is open um, now, every day, until Christmas Day. And then we're shut Christmas Day, Boxing Day, for four days, I think, because we've got an extra Boxing Day, haven't we? Yes. So we're shut 25th, 25th 26th, 27th and 28th. Open 29th, 30th, 31st. Closed 1st, 2nd and 3rd and 4th, but obviously on the 4th, um, we are here. In lesson form. Wait till about 5 past to see who's turned up, who's rocked up before of you. This would be a really nice one for next year's Christmas cards, everybody, by the way. Or something like that. It's not real. It's made up of um, several images that I've mashed together. Um, but there, there, is no, there is no sky. The original image that everything is based on and around is that middle tree. And I've changed the toboggan to an actual toboggan. if you have a look oh I forgot to change that size sorry good morning Sue if you have a look there look it's kind of like it is a sledgy thing with a high-rise chair on it's like a scooter a kid's little scootery thing with with ski things on the bottom you can see I'm so technical with all of this can't you I know exactly what I'm talking about We made it into the Bam, uh, not not the Bambury Guardian. We've we bypassed the Bambury Guardian. We're in the Guardian again. The Guardian. We've made it into their independent businesses Christmas gift list and our online classes. And we've already had a person um, inquire about them from reading the, the the online article of the Guardian. So that's quite nice. And it's nice that they let me know because sometimes they forget. They ask me to be in these things and they forget to tell me because most of these things are all virtual now. I forget to send me a link and then I don't know what's going on. Right. 
Let's get back to my drawing. Only four of you. Is anybody on Discord? Well, you got to keep trying these things, ain't you, Sarah? You know I'm too tenacious. Just to sit back and do nothing. Good morning, Alan Chris on Discord. How are you? Oh, face Facebook's a pain. Oh, where I belong. Yes, thank you. I was teaching yesterday morning. Um, we did, um, we, we did. A, you know, we did the Pika Stob do um, on a Monday. We did it as a as a watercolor class, and this time I used pastel. I'll I'll put it on the screen to do the rays of light over it. And I don't know if it worked or not, but I made it a much darker mountain in the foreground, a lot more blue. Um, so if you remember, um, those of you just on Facebook, not on Discord, we did this two weeks ago and then I did it again yesterday with the Sunday class so I just um, we used a two pence piece to lift out the sun because we just left it hazy didn't we on, on, on the Monday one and then I blobbed some white pastel on and then dragged it out with my fingers to get the rays of light um, so it's a slightly a slightly different version same colours and everything but slightly different photography yeah it's a light it's a it's a light flare isn't it but it makes it feel a bit more magical good morning robert how are you all right thank you thank you Okay, right, what's the time? It's near 10 past, so I ought to start doing something, shouldn't I, really? Um, <coughs> so I've got, I've drawn round a saucer, because I'm making this more of an illustrative thing, in case you want to use it for next year's Christmas card. So I'll be using, I think, the number four round for the majority of this, and I've sketched some tree shapes. Um, and I've actually not sketched some tree shapes at all. I've just sketched a stick um, that you can just about make it. I haven't got my light on or anything in here today, but um, it's just the way it is. So I'm going to be doing some wiggly bits. Wiggly jerky bits. Now, I, I um, yeah, I, I was teaching a class yesterday morning, and I, I went out and I just had a... A quick mosey at the antique centre around the corner from my house because I haven't been there since the first lockdown. Then I made myself a nice big birthday cake and I ate a quarter of it. Because I thought I'd try and go out a few places just in case we get moved up a tier later on this week. Um, I've just drawn some sticks just to give me an idea of the height and roughly where I've drawn the people I've drawn the three trees and then I've drawn a circle but you won't be able to see that until I do something else with it so um, so I'm doing a sort of wiggle I don't want them 
to stand out too much but also by doing them sort of dot and dots and wiggles um, so can you not get on and what's 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 happening Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on again. So it's not too dark, but you can you can see it's sort of looking a bit like a tree. I have put another sheet of paper underneath this just in case the pen goes through. It shouldn't because this is 150 GSM. So um it should be fine, but you can never be too sure. But I'm not planning on lingering too long. I think the the most um, the most area or the highest concentration of pen will be the the figures. I did toy with using some of the brown or grey pens that we've got in this range, but I thought no, I'll do it all in black because that was the original plan, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, it should be there. If you if you go onto the main page, and then I've already labelled it as reference. So if you um if you go where it says topics and find reference. It should be there. Oh, God. a little bit of darker partly in between a few little dots underneath nothing too major I say normally this is a I, I do um because this would be a a Christmas lunch uh, lesson I normally only do a, like a, a 20 minute um, demo don't I so then you've got less time Mm. Yeah, because we normally um, do a quicker one and then we have to dash out by like 12, don't we? It is a shame. I'll have to get in touch with Janice. I haven't heard from her for a couple of weeks. Well, exactly. I mean, there's going to be other Christmases. There's other other years in whatever format they all take. It's, you know. Oh, that's good. My issue with this picture is that I've got to make each tree look like a different tree. And I'm not very good at that because my brain just switches and goes, oh yes, fir tree, I know what a fir tree looks like. And then I just do a print. I mean, it doesn't, to be honest, it doesn't matter if it's the same kind of looking tree. When I was at the, when I was just having a quick mosey around the garden centre, an antique centre yesterday, um, th they've still got a few real Christmas trees in, um, but they all look so different. Each tree's got its own little personality. That's the first place I've actually been to where there's like people. I normally don't go to shops or supermarkets or anything. I haven't been to anything. But I just really felt like I needed to do something yesterday. Other than just sit at home. How wide is that? That's going to be that wide. 
but I've got a few presents I still need to get and So, um, oh, you heard that those of you on Friday's class, the, the saga with um, with the painting and the post and him getting a chair instead of the painting. The painting did turn up. So he's acquired a chair and apparently it's a, it's a computer chair with a footrest and everything that's that's been sent to him from me. I have no idea where that's come from. So, so, so somebody, somebody somewhere is missing a chair. It's got to come from somewhere, hasn't it? Because I didn't send it. How bizarre. No, because it was... Because they didn't bother picking up my parcel that was supposed to go to him and then I had to send it through Royal Mail. They must have had like a little chit somewhere in their system that said a parcel had to go to that address. Um, so they must have just found anything without a label on and stuck that bit on and sent it to him. But, well, you'd think so. Because the thing is, when, I, when you log on to this company that I originally used, you have to put the measurements and dimensions and, 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 <laughs> This was an A2 parcel, so it was only, you know, 60 centimetres by 40 centimetres by 5 centimetres deep. Nothing at all like a computer chair. So, I, I unless it was taken, even flat pack, it's still a much bigger parcel and heavier parcel. So that's totally bizarre. So he's now waiting to see um, what on earth is going to happen to that, whether he's, he's, he's won a chair <laughs> or whether... Um, whether it's going to get sent back. It's just really funny. Sort of like that. Then we've got the nice big big tree up here. All wiggly. Yeah, I've turned it into an actual toboggan. I just thought it looked nicer. It is a sort of toboggan, but it's got like a, a, a raised chair and handlebars on, which is quite interesting. I wonder if we'll get any snow this year or this winter, which is usually February, March time, isn't it? Or April, we've had snow. We don't get much snow in December. In fact, the only time we've had snow in December that was anything to worry about was like two years ago, wasn't it? Where we had to cancel the lunch. <coughs> Three years ago. And we... Yeah, you know, we cancelled the lesson, but it, it, it eased off by the afternoon so we could get to the, the Falcon, wasn't it? But that's the only time in eight years of having that group that we've ever had to cancel we've normally the only times previously that we've cancelled due to snow was um april april time and i think one of those times was because i was snowed in and i had to wait for the snow plow to come from the manor house Sarah, this is one for you, isn't it? This is one that you you should like. It's your kind of pen type of uh, image.
So that's quite chunky in there. Quite chunky going off. Bit of a gap. It's going to sort of follow the shapes and patterns of the trim. I have to make that trunk a little bit thicker. But doing it quite loose and scribbly. It makes it feel like there might be a bit of frosty bits or snow bits on it. And then there's a branch that comes right the way out to there. One thing, because this is a sort of amalgamation of four, four, pimp, four images, so there's no footprints or trail marks in the snow, so I'll have to see if I can um, add some of that. So we're definitely going for more of an illustrative feel this morning. Just trying to think, what, what do we start with in January? I never tell. Oh, Ben Lawyer's Mountain in watercolour. So a nice uh, mountainous one. I've had, I've got them printed out um, here, but I've um, they're on the they're on the website. It's on the website as a download. Yeah. Because obviously everybody, if, if we're in the real classes, when I launched them in mid-October, everybody would have had their own printout. But, um, but you know, everybody's holding off from printed leaflets and stuff. I've got a few in the shop, but um, no, most leaflets have all been removed from places for COVID restrictions and stuff. Hmm. 
No. No, this time last year we'd, we were hopeful for the new... In fact, our biggest worry was which village hall are we going to end up in? Um, who'd, who, who'd have thought that we'd have ended up in neither? <laughs> yeah. It's a totally crazy world, isn't it, now? It's, it's very different. It's sped... I, I, think, I think we'd have got to these s sort of things, not necessarily with the online lessons in, in a sense, but I think we'd have... The whole online shopping and carrying less cash and all that thing. I mean, I think it's sped it up immensely. You know, we're about 10 years ahead of where we where we were sort of like thought to be heading. But um, I think um, we'll never get rid of cash and we'll, people will still carry on with doing what they're used to doing, I think, after this is all finished. Do you know what? what do you think then? Well, checks never did, though, did they? They tried to get rid of checks and they couldn't. See, I, I write, I, I write, I, I still write checks and I still receive checks. Um, we, we. We, we we actually the bank has made it even easier for us uh, for businesses now with online banking all i have to do is take a photograph of the front and the back of the check and type in the information and then i get paid within a day doesn't take five days anymore it's amazing oh wow okay because a lot of my a lot of my other village students, when I used to do village art classes, they all paid by check. Um, yes, I've got a, I've got the card machine, haven't I now? No. No. Yeah, and to, to be honest, as as a shop, it's nicer to not worry about the cash in the till over the weekend, or do you know what I mean, or what have you. It's it's better to have less cash, because it will um, run the risk. I mean, that's why you know the the spate of burglaries and break-ins that we had in town over the last couple of weeks. All they could take was what bit was in the tills and what bit was in any charity boxes. No. No, I know, I don't think, it must have been total desperation or stupidity um, because they were also targeting shops that weren't even open for a month. So it, it's sort of, there's definitely going to be nothing around. No. Yes, there were, there were charity shops that were being broken into as well as it, all small businesses. None of them were big chains. Yeah, let's go. Cancer research was broken into. I think you've got to be a different, a special sort of person to want to break into a charity shop. Yeah. Now, I think these are not going to look like children, or they're not going to look like real-life children. Still only using the point four. I probably won't use the point six. Where don't matter really. It's whatever you've got. 
Yeah, point five's fine. Whatever you've got. I mean, the water-soluble pens would work because we're not actually adding any water on this. I want the water-soluble ones. Nice, isn't it? No, she doesn't do it. She does um, Wednesdays. Yeah, she does Monday nights and Wednesdays. No, I think she'd panic if we had too many. Yes. This is going to look like a banana. Is it, is it, yeah, it's because you, you're not relying on anything. You're not relying on colour for those trees, are you? You, you? It is just all down to shape. It's more dot, yeah, it's more dots and scribbles. If I, hang on, let me, um, if I go a bit closer and then just tweak the focus. There you are, look, you can kind of see it a little bit more. Dots and scribbles. With a gel pen afterwards, yeah. Because if it was a water soluble pen, the gel pen would um, it would end up going sort of a grey colour. But because this is a permanent pen, you've got more of a chance of um, of it staying pure white. They're amazing, aren't they, gel pens? What would we do without them? So I'm going to have to sort of now start thinking about, well, maybe I need to do some little trails of dots and what have you. Who's gonna, they can have come round here. So I'm hardly any pressure. They come around the tree a little bit there. So with the clothing, I'm going to have to do it in, in lots of different sort of ways of hatching and cross hatching. So some is darker, uh, some items are darker, some items are a bit lighter. So if I do fast hatching,
So when you're doing something like this that you want dark, that's slightly light, start with the darker bit and just sort of feather off towards the light area and it gives you a little bit of um, tone, but not much. Now I have got a circle around this just to make it feel a little bit more illustrative but I don't know whether to do it as a straight circle or more of as a, a vegetative foliage type. Maybe I could do it more just as like um, a garland. Holly? Do we do holly? I've got, I've got time for doing a bit of holly, I think. Maybe. Which way is it going to go? It's going to go that way. Working around the circle. I've gone on the wrong bit, really. I should have. Ah, yes. I, I just drew around a saucer. Just to, to give it a bit of a frame. So some things are coming in and some things are coming out of the picture. Because there's not anything exciting going on. Um, it's just an additional thing that you could do or miss out and you could just do it as a circle but I'm sort of doing it as, as holly want it to be a bit Christmassy since it is coming up to Christmas less than two weeks to go which is quite scary because I don't really I thought the tree would make me feel a bit more festive getting the tree up and the decks up I, it hasn't really no I don't I'm I am really tempted to go just for dinner and then go home. I think what would help my decision is if our tier goes up level with theirs or their tier comes down level with mine, I'd feel a little bit better, you know? Even though actually it means absolutely nothing at all, to be honest. Because they, if, if they've got it, they've got it whatever tier they're in. But um, I don't know. My sister's, I don't think she's overly bothered. She says she's not, but she probably is. Yes.
Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think, I think, um, especially when it comes to New Year, I mean, nothing's been mentioned about New Year. Yes. Because I know the um, the London fireworks have all been cancelled, haven't they? Yeah. Well, for most people, you're watching the, the fireworks on the telly anyway, aren't they? So they could do a nice a nice display just so you could watch it on the telly if you really wanted to. I mean, even the Jules Holland's Hootenan is recorded, isn't it? That's not even live, so... Yeah, I only found out the other week that it's recorded a couple of days before. And that disappointed me because I've always watched Hootenan, eh? Yeah, I know. It just shows nothing. nothing's real anymore. You can't trust anything. Even Jules Holland's Hooter Nanny's not real. All right, right, I think I'm I think I'm done. It is very twee. I, I don't I, I, I don't do a huge amount of twee stuff anymore, so it's quite nice to do something that is quite nauseating. Yeah, whereas I think it's quite nice, isn't it, occasionally? So um coming up this week, um tonight is Snowy Wood and Shadows in Woodcolour. Tomorrow afternoon is an old barn in the snow in acrylics. Tomorrow evening a little robin in acrylics. Wednesday afternoon is um, the misty morning over here in Kugenen. Thursday morning is uh, an old barn in the snow in pastels. Thursday afternoon is a figure in the snow at sunset. Thursday evening is late night shopping and an art history talk on Transavagardia. Uh, Friday morning is the last of the three work week art history lectures on floriography and flower symbolism in art. Friday afternoon is a view across Stapleton, Bristol at sunrise. Nothing on Saturday, nothing on Sunday, and then it's just Monday evening, uh, figure in the snow at sunset, and Wednesday afternoon, trees in the snow with long shadows, and then that's us done for the whole year. So I hope you've enjoyed this, but I wanted, I might actually just extend this tree to come out, now the holly's on, a little bit more. An old barn in acrylics, yeah. I like old barns. Um, um, no, for Monday, nothing. This is the last Monday one because it would have been when I booked all of this. It would have been um, our Christmas dinner and our last one. Um, it's usually around the fourteenth, fifteenth sort of uh, time, depending on when it lands. Um, so there's nothing next Monday. Whether I'll open the shop or not, I don't know. I might just want a day off and just sleep in. Who knows what I'll feel like. Um, but I will post this um, this reference image uh, that I finished so you can uh, do it. If you wanted to make it feel more forest-like, you could use even just pencil as, as background trees. But I kind of like it just with the three. Um, it's just got a nice little feel to it, hasn't it? So I'm, uh, yes, it is wiggle and dots. That is basically what Holly is um, in this. Let me just zoom in so you can see if I have it. Um, so that's it on its edge. So you can kind of see. Right, it should be in focus now. So that's it, really close to. 
to the uh, it's quite a nice fun one today but you don't have to have the circle but I just think it adds an extra layer like a mount or something a little bit more interesting to it anyway um, but it's just a decent picture without so thank you so much for joining me today it's lovely and it's uh, our last our last Monday morning of the year um, but that's not hard because it is that it is already halfway through December almost um, so that the months are hurtling by but uh, thanks ever so much for your company and I'm sure um, you'll join me in one of the other classes over the next week anyway or two so um, have a really good week ahead I look forward to seeing what you've created with these because I, I love what you post um, whenever whenever it is you finish it absolutely I mean some people because we have people doing these classes at any time um, you know some people will look three four weeks back and do it so um, or they save them up for weekends and then they do a binge lesson um, and over a weekend and they'll just do like four or five lessons which is quite cool and then they post them so whenever you post it I hope you um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you don't post it that's also okay it is allowed you don't have to um, so thanks ever so much everyone take care have a great week and the rest of the day and I'll see you all soon bye bye everyone Bye-bye.